The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Laughing on the Sidelines. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. The Podcast Prodigy. JP, you've got yourself a little bit of a microphone malfunction over here. That's it. My microphone won't stay hard. There. <laughs> That's just, weird. It's just for you. It, it happens to guys at a certain <laughs> age, man, but I didn't know it was 46. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but we've got an excellent show for you today. Uh, first of all, we've got an excellent uh, uh, crew of stand-up comedians. First, he is none other than the uh, most fabulous homosexual comedian, Mr. J.P. And uh, all the way from Los Angeles, California, the very funny on his second time on this show, Mr. Steve Peter. Yay! I'm so happy for you to be back. Mm. Uh, so he yeah. talks about that you makes, all the time. I do. Man. That makes one of us. Hey, man. <laughs> it's been a minute, but uh, I'm very excited to have you back on the show. It's been too long, Steve. It's been it's, way been, too. it's been a while, and I am very glad to be here. And yeah. I uh, have should have been here earlier. <laughs> That's okay. It's been. Uh, it, it, it takes some time to come back. Nobody likes to come back, anyways, except for JP. <laughs> uh, but anyways, <laughs> we've got an excellent show for you today, guys. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and uh, offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here thank you and goodbye yeah we've got a good show on the docket jp's favorite docket right i love the docket i'm sure you do uh we've got some current events to go over overrated or underrated that's where i draw the line question go ahead and pick up the set and check it out man. <laughs> well i just wanted to I check mean, out this yeah. random black guy that's, yeah. there. that's, yeah. that's yeah. michael yeah. jordan man no, he's I my favorite so. that's actually random michael jordan black guy yeah uh, but we also have questions and preguntas and a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we like to go over what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. Steve, yours is going to be a little bit more extensive than that. Sure. Because it's been over a year. Yep. Steve Peters, who the fuck are you? And uh, what have you been up to, dog? Oh, I got to go first. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to. I have uh, been doing stand up comedy in uh, no Los kidding. Angeles, California for a while, and I. Uh, my first day there, I got to bring Dave Chappelle on stage. Isn't so that, that the was, fucking coolest that thing? That was pretty cool. That was awesome. Uh, and then uh, I've been back and forth between here and there a lot just because of work. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oddly enough, stand-up comedy does not pay very well unless you're like Bill Burr or Burt Kreischer or mm. somebody like that. So Those um, guys seem like I they're doing very to, well for themselves. Yeah. yeah. I tried OnlyFans and couldn't do it. So... <laughs> I am now building decks. It's a natural progression, I think. And then I drink too much. My wife told me that I was drying out this week. I'm not allowed to drink. Uh, and I'm so mad about that. But, uh, yeah, other than that, man, it's just been fucking, yeah. Yeah? All right, here we go. So you had you got to introduce Dave Chappelle, which is probably on people's like top ten lists of things to do before they die. He was a cool guy, and I think the way I introduced him um, I was told he will remember it, so I think that was, <laughs> so, was great. So, <laughs> Do you was, dare? Uh, well, it was it was a uh, show like the last week of February, and a friend of mine, I had just driven into L.A., I had been driving for two days, hadn't had any sleep. Uh, a friend of mine calls me and says, hey, we don't have a host for the show at the Hollywood Improv. Will you come host? Of course, yes, of course I'll do that. So I went and did that, and halfway through the headliner set, the lady that runs the Improv came up to me, and she goes, hey, we have a special guest. I'm going to need you to bring him up and i was like okay uh let me know i was at the back bar having a jameson drinking contest with myself and i was winning <laughs> and uh just relaxing from the drive 
Uh, and so later she came and she goes, okay, it's a go. I need you to bring him up. And I go, who? And she said, oh, uh, Dave Chappelle. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I freaked out. And uh, earlier in the night, since there was three white dudes on the show, I had made the joke that this show was far too white for Black History Month. <laughs> so when I t- asked everybody if they were ready for more comedy, uh, they said yes. And I said, do you guys remember how I told you earlier that this show was way too white for Black History Month? They're like, yeah. And I go, well, affirmative action called. And we have a black guy on the show now. Please welcome Mr. Dave Chappelle. And he came up and he was laughing his ass off. We shook hands and it was great. And he got so fucking drunk he had to be carried off stage. And I didn't get to hang out with him. So. But he did two and a half hours of some comedy. Uh, <laughs> some of it was just preaching. Some of it was, uh, I don't know. He's just working out new stuff. So it was, that's it was cool. fun though. It was really fun. That's that's still cool. That's, uh, that's still top 10. Hell yeah, dude. It was uh, good. But you're back in town for a little while or are yep. you going to be? Okay. Yep. Yep. That's yep. I good. told my wife yesterday that I really, really miss LA and I feel safer there. <laughs> she was like, she's like, I do too. <laughs> so anyway, maybe it's just the part of LA. I guess so. so going back out to holly weird is what yeah, it's called. fine it's yeah. good man everybody's nice oh, i don't believe you all of the things i see on the internet is true and they are weird out there yeah yeah <laughs> everybody everybody in the midwest is like i watched fox news i know exactly what happens out there you psycho i can't expect me to come back with blue hair and shit like that and yeah. it didn't uh it didn't happen if anything i just uh became more i don't know libertarian I well, think. that's so. a, that's fine good for good for the politics yeah. side of the show yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there you go uh, but anyways, it's good to have you back on. I've I've yeah, legitimately man, been like sure. texting you week after week. I know. Uh, so I, I know. really do appreciate it's it. It's taken a lot for me to keep turning you down. <laughs> I know. He feels so bad. <laughs> just it's, don't answer the text. It's message. so like, nope. funny. It's just like, <laughs> nope. no, I just like look at it. It's like, no, if I don't say anything, then he's just going to move on, which is what I had to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but luckily, I know, I know we were supposed to have Derek on the show uh, this week. And uh, you know, speaking of weak, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty that um, poor guy. Apparently he's, he's sick. Uh, so that means he, that he can't be here today, which uh, thankfully normally my wife is not at the show. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the best part about that is, <laughs> is that's perfectly fine because I would much rather have you here than him anyways. Oh, so, he's a sweet kid. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, JP. <laughs> <laughs> Me and JP are sitting nice like, guy. Who we're the talking fuck about the same you? guy. No, I don't think so. I like it. Uh, but anyways, uh, JP, show me your anticlimactic week of interest that you um, have. So I smoked a lot of pot, played a lot of video games, went bowling twice, and yeah. uh, man, I ran into a fan. Oh, did you? Yeah. I weirdly enough, I took uh, I took my mom to the doctor on. <laughs> what a fucking place to run into somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah. I took took my mom to the doctor on Thursday, and I, because I'm so smart, I right. drove her car, and her key fob is in the fucking cup holder. Right. And I wheel her. I get a wheelchair. I wheel her into the doctor. I come back out to move the car because i was parked right up front yeah. and uh the keys are locked in there now <laughs> car's running uh, just put gas in it uh, i got there and she's like i'm out of gas do you think we can stop for gas and i'm like yeah fuck yeah i mean you know why not is that why she had to have a wheelchair to get into the doctor's <laughs> no, office she was like mom i'm beating your ass yeah she was she walked fine she walked fine before i got there <laughs> um Jesus. no i uh so i got Call a locksmith. Nice. And sixty five dollars later, he came out and took two seconds to open the door and <laughs> fucking gave me his little hillbilly grin. And uh, <laughs> as he was pulling out, I went. I was getting ready to go back in and get her. Here comes some fucking random dude pushing her out. Yeah. And he's like, "Hey, JP, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. Whatever. <laughs> That's awesome." And uh, uh, fucking took the wheelchair back in. <laughs> uh, says he listens to the show every week. It's actually a guy that I know. His oh. name is Sean Light. Uh, his dad used to be the GM at North Rock. I know Sean. Oh, I know Sean. know Sean. I know Sean, yeah. So Sean listens every week, and uh, I saw him at my mom's doctor's. Obviously, came up, and I didn't recognize him, man. It's been a long time since I'd seen him. 
So when he came in, he kind of waved at me, and I, I thought he was just being like a friendly guy. So I was like, hey, you know, I mean, I was, and then, you know, the more I sat there, I was like, I fucking know that guy, and I can't. But finally, he did come up and, and oh, hey, that's good. you know, hey, it's me. And I was like, oh, well, thanks for listening. He told me you fucking suck, and I, I'm the best. So he's got good fucking taste. Yeah. You know that. yeah, everybody cheers for that. But yeah, so we get back in the car, and my mom was like, oh, that's nice. She goes, does that, ha- does that happen a lot? And I was like, at least three times a day. <laughs> so, yeah, it, yeah. It, it definitely does. But yeah, that's it, man. That's as exciting as my week got. Hey, hey that's still pretty exciting. When somebody recognizes you from doing the show, that's, uh, yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. That's a pretty good day. Uh, but anyways, um, let's hear about your week, my man, week, so I can take a nap. I do say I do got a good week. I'm not. I'm gonna skip through the boring parts. I did golf. I'm shocked. I did play well. I'm sure you did. I, I, mean, I did Jesus play well. Christ, it was it. a scramble, man. It's not yeah, that big of a no, deal, man. you know. It's not that big a deal, but you just got to tell everybody gotta, on the fucking podcast. Got to drive well you it play. 300 yards. But it's not that big a deal. Um, 310 all day. 310 all day. That's what it is. Um, but uh, I, I am very, actually okay. This is maybe the gayest thing that I'm. I'm really excited for JP. And, I, and oh, if yeah. you judge, I'll let JP if, be the if judge. If you of that. judge me, if you <laughs> judge I wish I had me, one of those white wigs. <laughs> if you judge me, I, I will be so disappointed. But my TikTok for you page right now is filled with nothing but in sync reunion shit right now. So, so hot. Uh, because people uh, because everybody's excited like they're gonna they're gonna do a reunion tour. They're all getting back together and shit. And here's the thing: whenever they whenever they were out and I was a young kid, I really didn't care for them. I didn't have the like the like boy band thing. I, I liked the the hard rock and shit. But over the years. I, I like Justin Timberlake and I like all of you know the cool stuff and I like the nostalgia for it. So now I see all of it and I'm going, this is really cool and I kind of want to see a fucking in sync show live. I think this is a good time to bring this up. Have you guys heard the commercial of the lady that has to throw her T-shirt away because it stinks so bad? <laughs> Like, what is that lady doing that what? she can't get the fucking smell out of her insane no t-shirt? Idea. Dude, it's on, uh, like, Sirius XM or something, and it's okay. it's a chick that's throwing away her t-shirt, and the NSYNC guys on the front of the t-shirt are like, tell me why oh, <laughs> you have to throw God. us away? And she's like, because you stink. And I'm like, bitch, you stink. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, so I know just, that, that okay. commercial makes me laugh. But no, that if they funny. if they roll through Wichita, Kansas, I'm I might go. I might go. I'm gonna play it off like you know my wife and her girlfriends and all them want to go, but I secretly kind of want to go. If they roll through Wichita, Kansas, they're sadder <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> Dude, they're trying I to think. Uh, I think Scotty to go going to a Taylor Swift concert and in sync no, in the same year. Absolutely qualifies no. as fucking an honorary not. Gay. I will not oh, go yeah. see that bitch. I will not go see that bitch. Fuck. Well, Travis Kelsey's going to see her vagina. We'll get there in a second. Um, (laughs) I've seen vaginas. Hard pass from me. Uh, (laughs) They're scary. Anyways. Uh, Little munchkins. Yeah. (laughs) Anyways, uh, the last thing I want to do is I got absolutely obsessed with the TV show. I know you have Apple uh, Apple TV, right? Still still have it? Yeah, I just got done rewatching all the Ted Lasso. I know, because you have to watch them three or four times because you miss shit. Uh, But no, there is a show. That's that's if you haven't watched it, everybody needs to go and watch it. It is absolutely fucking addictive. It's called Silo. Have you watched it yet? I haven't. Dude, it is probably one of the best like actual TV shows. I don't know anything about. Clicked on it and absolutely got ridiculously addicted to it. And me and my wife couldn't put it down. We watched it all in a fucking weekend. It was ten episodes long. Well, since I value your taste. <laughs> then I'll, I will uh, just go ahead and skip that one. Oh, thanks, uh, man. I was going to watch it. No, it's a dystopian situation yeah, where they built, built a silo. It it's yeah. so fucking good. So uh, now they the first season's over. They've announced that they're going to have a second season in 2024. But because I'm an impatient prick, I ordered all of the books that they have already written for it and got them coming on the way and I'm actually going to break down and read books. Hold up. Uh, you can shit. read? Yeah, believe it or not. Wow. Breed, type, uh, have sex with my wife, all kinds of things you don't believe that I actually do. Did you do. say read or breed because... <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I can't... I don't, I don't know about it's that. Like, hey, I'm willing to play in sync in the background if that's what it takes, <laughs> nope, man. I'm good, While man. he's cleaning his laundry. I know, yeah. I'm good. Uh, but I went uh, wall climbing yeah. in a silo in Rose Hill, Kansas. No shit. I grew yeah. up in Rose Hill. Yeah, it was on Rose Hill Road. 
I'll be damned. Yeah. I learned how to belay. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oui, oui. I dropped a guy one time because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Like, that dude just bounced <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> Way to go, My Steve. bad. Like, you really have to pay attention when you're yeah. doing that shit. And when yeah. it's a 15-year-old kid, you probably shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> Even so, worse. Yeah. It was more traumatic for me than the person that fell. Uh, that's great. Uh, but also, uh, Monday's Suggestions was another big hit, which was pretty darn cool uh every single monday on uh, all of our socials i put out a suggestion uh, or or an announcement where you guys can all comment all of the suggestions for you, for the show for this uh this week and y'all came out and fucking drove so thank you very much to all of you guys out there this is almost going to be in a, a listener appreciation episode with how many uh <clears throat> actual suggestions that I were worth the shit there was a live studio audience i oh, know yeah. it's fucking crazy shit. Shit. look up man yeah Whoa, there all these there they are yeah, yeah, yeah there wow. they are you're too concentrated on the black guy on the I, desk <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought the Dickosaurus was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's, that's, yeah. It's actually a Tyrannosaurus Dix is what that oh. is. Yeah, but that's okay. All right. Well, that's no fine. big deal. Uh, JP's favorite. Nice. Um, but anyways. It wouldn't we, be the first time I sat on uh, it. <laughs> God damn it. I'm uh, sure the hospital has fished a few of those out. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyways. You uh, can afford a hospital. I got a Frank down the street. <laughs> He has the best needle nose plug. Yeah, yeah, and and he can give you an oil change while you're there. Exactly, so, fucking good deal. I love it. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the show. We've got current events to go over. Obviously, it is week two of the NFL season, but we did have some college football that happened over the weekend. Yeah, Are, man, that game was fucking awesome. Colorado, Colorado State. That's the only one I want to talk about. Uh, that's the only one I'm going to talk about because I don't care any. I don't care about the NCAA. I don't want to give him any any credit. But <laughs> Coach Prime, dude, dude <laughs> can people make are so a show, mad, baby. bro. People are so mad at Coach Prime. Yes, <laughs> oh, okay. he's bringing There's it. No what do you for that? He's There's the no exact place same for that. person he's been yeah. since he started he, football. He he's hasn't no different. changed. No. Yeah, he's that's no the same different at all. Dude. No, but they are up in arms about uh, i think it's kind of uh, funny there's no place for that in college Did you football see his feet? And, oh dude he can barely walk what the fuck, like, dude? he needs he has millions and millions, millions. of dollars he needs a foot transplant <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or whatever that is i don't know i, I don't know that's it, disgusting absolutely it is disgusting that would but be my only complaint it was a fucking entertain entertaining game it, it the Extremely. kickoff the kickoff was at nine o'clock like, yeah yeah, why so late? in the morning? I'm like, wait, double OT. What the hell's Exa- going on? Here? Exactly. And I was going to bet, and I'm glad I didn't. I thought I had put it in my parlay as Colorado State uh, money line. Oh, what really? I was gonna bet. Uh, and my buddy told me I was an idiot. And then <sighs> throughout the game, he like, oh, all right. And so he's betting live betting on, and so he won a few live bets on it. But uh, I didn't. I really thought Colorado State would, would win I by at least a touchdown. I really kind of did, like, going into, like, the first half. At least going into halftime, I was like, yeah. oh, holy shit, this yeah. is getting way close for comfort. Um, but then you realize that, you know, it's Coach Prime, and he's going to get the best players on planet Earth to come to Colorado. Optimus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And and uh, they're going to pull it out. So <laughs> good for him. Good for, good for the Buffaloes of Colorado. I just don't want to go up to altitude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't either. My father-in-law lives in Colorado Springs, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't drink as much up there. <laughs> that's what that's what deters you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, moving on. We obviously got the uh, week two of the NFL season. Uh, the Rams. I, I wanted. To, I really wanted Derek to be here for this, so I could kind of like set the fire under his ass because mm-hmm. we had lots of like um, people want to know like his reactions to the 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 NFL being rigged and the Bears sucking, but actually you being a Bears fan <laughs> kind of fill the shoes. So before I get to the I, Rams, I want to ask you, what do you think about your, you know, your huge quarterback, your franchise quarterback, Justin Fields? Justin Fields ain't it. <clears throat> really? Like he's just not. He's not it. Um I don't I don't know what his deal is, man. I but then again, Deshaun Watson yesterday had a couple pump fakes that he <laughs> If he hadn't done that, if he hadn't gone like this, if he'd have just thrown the ball, yeah. it, they would have been great completions. It would have been, you know what I mean, a lot more points. So I don't know. I 
you know, there's only like one Mahomes. There's only like one Favre. There's only like one Aaron Rodgers. There's only one Tom Brady. Stuff like that. And and I think everybody's searching for that. Oh yeah. You know that that huge deal. Sure. And the Bears had an opportunity, and they were fucking morons to <laughs> do it. Ryan. Pa- yeah. Anyway, whatever. The front office sucks, and everything else. So. I actually had to comfort a a, a Minnesota Vikings fan the other day (laughs) because she's been my friend forever. She's like, what the fuck? I'm ready to be done with the season. I was just like, and she lives in Minnesota. So I was like, hey, I'm a Bears fan. It gets easier. I promise. And (laughs) everybody on her page just fucking was, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's not unexpected. I've never been the the, this is our year guy or whatever. Uh, There's just not been enough. (laughs) <laughs> momentum yeah. yeah yeah there's yeah. just never you know we'll yeah. win we'll win four games this year maybe oh maybe no three. you'll win you'll win more than so, that uh, i don't know <laughs> i think we went uh i think we only won like four or five last year yeah so. well i mean it you, sucks <clears throat> you got uh you got my team you got the detroit Ti- uh, detroit tigers you got the detroit lions you don't even know his team <clears throat> <clears throat> fucking idiot Shut since fuck when up. are the lions Jesus uh Christ. three years since ago he just uh, decided to no, pick someone three, fucking three years random. ago Three years ago, Dan. Because he saw some show. No. And he's no. a Dan. It's because they've been rebuilding for three years. No, this Dan year, they Campbell. actually look a little better, but they're going to shit the bed. No, they won't. Yeah, Dan, they Dan won't. Campbell is my they're dude. They're going to shit the bed. Dan Campbell's my dude. But still, it was a really shitty game. I mean, like, it, there's no reason that uh, we should have lost that game other than the fact Jared Goff is a pick six late in the game, and that kind of does it. But it's okay. It's okay. Who it's still going to be good six. A good, so, good season. Okay, you talk about it being scripted. Yes, that's what, what Derek says. What uh, what game was it? Why is it escaping me right now? That's they were because down, they were down. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to 20 it. Twenty points and they kicked a field goal. That's the that's the, that's the Los Angeles Rams. That's what I was just getting okay. to. The okay. Los Angeles Rams kick a field goal with time expiring to lose by only seven points yes. against San Francisco. Yeah, and it had a seven point spread, which exactly. made it a push. Exactly. Yeah. So and then and then their their excuse is going to be, well, we needed those points because if at the end of the year. You have to win by the points. I guess they total up total points. That's scored, like in shit. such like, an extreme it's situation. So fucking stupid, dude. And it was such a <clears throat> dude that 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 stoked. Like I kind of hope he did that on purpose to stoke the fucking uh, conspiracy theory that's, because it was pretty. He's like he's, he's like coach, come here. Yeah. yeah, check this out. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna really fuck this money line. Yeah, we, I mean, we're already gonna lose the game. <laughs> we're, we're really gonna, gonna fuck. This. We're gonna push. I, Let's uh, get the field goal. I do out believe there. that everybody on OSU's football team bet on South Alabama to win. Yeah, well, <laughs> if they didn't, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, the rain. That is kind of why I, I I really hope that you're right. Whenever you say that they did it on purpose, because Derek is one of those people that's sitting at home, <laughs> just fucking stewing in his the, fucking chair. Just the going, other oh. the other thing that we need to remember here is it is entertainment. It is, and you know, until the Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers had that NBA blowout battle that's always been the battle for the ages, people were like done watching the NBA. Like they, it wasn't that interesting, yeah. you know. So it it's still like hockey. Sucks. Hockey, I played very, you know, competitive hockey uh, my whole life, and and still do. But hockey, they're trying to like you got to fucking score more points. Why do we not watch soccer in America? Because for the most part, because I, mean, I know, I know, because I know, we're fucking not. weirdos do. They wake up at five a.m. to go yeah. to the bar and watch fucking whatever Newcastle or whatever it is. I, I know there's those people, but <laughs> for the most part, nobody wants to fucking watch a game for 60 minutes and it ends zero zero. I agree with you. That's there. not fun. And then the fucking dude, I swear to God, soccer players are built out of tissue paper. <laughs> they, they get fucking hurt on a blade of grass. I've never seen anything like, but I did. Like I said, I played rugby and hockey my entire life. So even football players and fuck you with the pads. But anyway, I, uh, it, it is entertainment and it's high level entertainment and there's billions and billions and billions of dollars at stake and ad revenue and everything else. And, uh, Fair enough. and the, the, uh, the, the defense that they put forward now, you know, when they're, when they're trying to hurry up, uh, in the last few minutes of the game because the, uh, the advertisers were pissed off that nobody would watch the last bit of the game if they were down seven and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, I think there's an entertainment factor to it, and I think there's, I think there's a little bit of both going I, on there. I, maybe, but I, I still don't give – I don't think it's rigged completely. I don't. I don't I don't, I don't think you'd be able to do that. <clears throat> the, only, the only it's thing – It's not I, WWE. Exactly. It's not two dudes in a ring. Exactly, you know? and I think that that's, that's the biggest thing. And that's we the would know about, about it. Yeah, it we, would. we would. We uh, would. And, yeah, so uh, – Big time question mark, but I, I again, I, I really hope it was just the head coach just fucking with everybody who says it's rigged. 
Um, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? Question mark. Banging, Who cares, man? Banging. Okay. That's how he sprained his knee. It was on her butthole. <laughs> <laughs> he had the leg up, bro. Totally had it. But here's the other thing. I look at Taylor Swift, and I think she's like maybe 22 years old. Uh, she's not. She's oh, obviously. Yeah, she seems like a child. She looks like you know a little I mean? kid. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. And Travis like, Kelsey. I don't think you could ever find her sexually attractive. Miley Cyrus, I would fucking <laughs> knock the brakes <laughs> off that bitch, dude. And I would make her. I would make her dress up as fucking Tana Montana while I was doing it too. Yeah. Oh yeah. But Taylor Swift, fuck that, dude. She just. She's always the girl next door yeah. in the fucking drawn pictures. Dude, right. I, I would I fuck I Miley like Cyrus. Oh, <laughs> for sh- dude, she'd do things to oh. you that would, would you fuck imagine, your mind dude, up. Yeah. No! Yeah, yeah. guaranteed. Oh, yeah. She would do something with her tongue oh, yeah. on your dick that yeah. nobody could ever complete. Yeah, no, it'd be... <laughs> yeah. it I just want to learn me. from her. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. No, Stitches has that song, Molly Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, so, God. Yeah. That's, I'm going to put cocaine in your ass. That's good shit. Yeah, that, yeah. And she probably wrote that. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> By the way, it's, I've heard it numb. Yeah, I don't it know. numbs it. It numbs cocaine. it up a little bit. Oh I've God! Never, ever cocaine done. and a little lemon juice, and oh, you, you are go. good to go. <laughs> lemon juice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's everything a up a little bit. That's awesome. Oh, I like uh, it. All right. Well, anyways, what I was gonna say was she looks like a like a kid. She does. And Travis Kelsey looks like a forty year old cop. Yeah, he looks stuff. like a fucking motorcycle cop now. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. Why did he do that? I, he looked kind of gangster before. Um, I think he's actually to make fun of Andy Reid is what he says on uh, his podcast, which I really enjoy listening to. Oh, I didn't know he had a podcast. Oh yeah, uh, okay. I, it's good. Um, but the biggest Can you thing imagine is, him and Gronkowski on the same podcast. Uh, I think it's happened. You actually. would actually lose IQ points listening <laughs> to that fucking podcast <laughs> for sure. That would not be no. good. I just want to know if Rob Gronkowski's got hit in the head enough he'll fuck me <laughs> no there's, there's probably oh, there's, probably i'm in for that there's not enough there, there's not enough times he could have gotten hit in the head i don't know if that's true scotty <laughs> have you seen the puss that that kid that guy walks Dude, that's with? that guy's going to some like eyes wide shut parties and shit where <laughs> yeah. it's dark in there jp can yeah. just sneak oh, in yeah. and just he'll never slide know it. he'll yeah, never he know no Jesus Christ. God damn it, Sally. Sh- sh- shave your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, there was the there was somebody that spilled the beans, though. When Kelsey <clears throat> caught his touchdown this week, uh-huh. the announcer actually said, and Kelsey finds the blank space, which is a song by... Taylor Swift. T-Swift. Old yes. Swifty. Old Swifty. So, so I if thought, he's knocking her out, he's the ultimate Swifty. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to shut my mouth, but I hope it works out for you two. You guys would be great together. Oof. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I thought Kelsey was no. like married to a black chick. Uh, he dated one for a while. Oh, I thought they were married. For no, some they, weren't, they weren't married. No. Uh, but anyways, uh, then we get to move on to Monday Night Football, which oh. tr- traditionally... No, no, no. Traditionally is one game on Monday night, but the NFL is so fucking, fucking retarded so fucking and decides annoying, to make two games. And here's one thing. It's like, are they okay, doing that the whole season? No, but they are doing it this week. Okay. Uh, this coming week, they're going to do it again. I'm but ready instead, for that to but be here's over. the deal. Could you like start the first game at like five, yes, get over at seven, exactly. and then play it yes. again? Yes. If you did that, that makes so much more sense if yep. you're trying to appeal all your fucking networks or whatever bullshit. Yep. But no, they decide to start one and then one right after the other. So you're trying to sit there and watch both games like a fucking moron. Why would you watch both games? There's only one game worth watching, and it was barely worth watching. Uh, That's true. That it is true, but when you That's got true. fantasy implications, some guys have other people, and it just kind of yeah. is what it is. Fantasy implications. But. <laughs> fag. But. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thinking it. JP's <laughs> saying it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but no. So you ended up having two Monday night football games. I agree with you. I think the Saints game and the Carolina Panthers game was probably not the one to watch. It was yeah, the, probably the not. One. Did you watch so it? Bad. No, it was so well. Bad. If you didn't, it was awful. Yeah, it was pretty awful. It was awful, and I'm glad I didn't. But if you were watching the more important game, which the was Steelers. the That's Steelers at home against the Cleveland Browns, you've got the massage rapist, who's the quarterback who's supposed to be coming back in full swing. He's instead, instead of being an excellent quarterback,
at quarterback, he's grabbing face masks of people so trying to bad, tackle him dude. and getting unnecessary roughness. How often in football do you get an unnecessary roughness penalty? You got two of them on a quarterback. Two of this them. motherfucker does it twice. Yep. If if he's masi- if he's raping masseuses, I want to know how hardcore that shit was when he's grabbing people trying to tackle him by the face mask. Then he pushes a referee. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like spit at you, my dude. Bad. How embarrassing uh, would that be if he saw Bill Belichick at the massage? Part there, <laughs> Bill has to be like, I don't know that motherfucker. Oh, I'm not responsible Jesus for Christ. anything he's about to do. Oh man, it, it's just so frustrating. But then I'm I'm sitting here rooting against the Steelers because I got to ask you a question. This is an honest question. Mm-hmm. Who is the most annoying fan base in the NFL? So I, I had this conversation with my wife on Monday night. I go, <laughs> I go, dude, they they kind of sound like the Chiefs fans, except they're Ooh. not as loud. They're trying to be as loud as the Chiefs fans, but they're just not there. They aren't getting it. Okay, uh, my I'm married to a Dallas Cowboys fan, so I think I have to go with that fan base. Okay, I've had to. Although I don't know, because I've been to a couple Bears games at Dallas Cowboys Stadium or AT and T, whatever the fuck it is, and uh, everybody is pretty nice. But sure. then again. Chiefs fans, man, they're always throwing shit on opposing fans and stuff. I mean, that just happened when they when they got beat by Detroit. Yeah, Patrick a Mahomes' friend of mine wife was up there. Yeah, a friend of mine was brother. up there and he had his he had his Lions stuff on. He's been a he's from, you know, Michigan. He's been a Lions fan forever. Sure. Like and they were, they were throwing fucking drinks and shit on him. What a piece like, of dude, shit. Like, fuck family. off. Like yeah. I, I don't know. I just think that's kind of <laughs> Like if you're if so, you're so allowing your, that to take over your thinking and everything else just because you think you're a diehard fan, sure. you're a piece of shit. Who, so you, so say who, you say Chiefs? I think so, man. Okay. I don't know. Maybe uh, L.A. Dodgers fans. Well, no, NFL, NFL only. Oh. Mm. I was gonna say there's been some people killed at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> uh, there's probably been people uh, killed at Raiders. A, Tommy, Lass- Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be going to the Bears game uh, Sunday in, at Kansas City, so I'll let you know then. Okay, sounds good. How about you, JP? Who, who do you think? Is it the Chiefs? 100%? Yeah, dude. Uh, you know, I wish the Chiefs would do like Wichita State. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, get rid of their football team? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same way, too. <laughs> That Same. was an unfortunate accident. <laughs> yeah, well. Wichita State's skiing. football team uh, crashed a plane in the mountains and killed the entire team. They just went on a surprise ski trip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. She'll be coming around. The mountain <laughs> oh, when she comes. God. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I think. I that, hate the Chiefs. I, I hate think everything it's just about them. If you're, if you're, like, I love having friends that are fans of other Same. teams. Same. Oh yeah, that me are, too. You know, other you know, Republic or Republican, Democrat, all that. Like I'm, I'm so in the middle with all. Like I'm, I'm great, and and I always congratulate them when they win. Like it's sure. a good job that you're you're happy for your team. But when you're just such a piece of shit that yeah. you take that shit so personal, mm-hmm. especially like on Facebook, it's like I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck. Because yeah. a bunch yeah. of people that would never even know it if you fucking died tomorrow, right? Yeah, and you bought. Five thousand dollars worth of their shit. Like, yeah. go fuck yourself, dude. You're you're I not agree. even. I, I don't agree. know. I that that to me, I think that's the uh, the, so, the personal part of it. <clears throat> so I've had a pretty consistent like top three in the NFL for for sev- for several years since we've done this show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has always been the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, and then I would say my uh, wife. Yeah, the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Your wife's lovely. Yeah. Uh, terrible person as a cowboy fan though. Yeah. Um, but uh, then you then you would have to go <laughs> with the Pittsburgh Steelers and then the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I have to say that my arrangement has been mixed up. It now goes from the bottom to the top, the Dallas Cowboys. And then it goes the Kansas City Chiefs, and now it is the Pittsburgh fucking Steelers. Really? The, their fans are everywhere, and the only reason why they're oh, everywhere wait a second. is because Dude, of the Eagles 90s. Eagles fans are the biggest pieces of shit they on the planet. They are shitty, too. I, I forgot that. about that. Yeah. But, but like, about the them. Pittsburgh Steelers fans are everywhere because in the 90s, you had Cowboys fans and Steelers fans because those were the only two fuckers that were in the Super Bowl. Right. That's the way that it right, was. Right. And so they just, they just kind of bred little stupid fuckheads 
that grew up to be Steelers fans, and now they're all over the country. Mm -hmm. And so whenever the Steelers play in Kansas, they all get together under a desk and start blowing each other just to hope that they get the sim the, the, the significant win of beating the Cleveland Browns at That's home. A big fucking desk. Like they should. <laughs> and and then they go say. and talk shit about it the next day, and it's so fucking annoying. So I am now rooting against the Pittsburgh Steelers for the remainder of the season. Well, I was going to, but then they found out that they were blowing each other under desks. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Now, now JP's I'm thinking about in on going that. to get a jersey. Yeah, he's like, right, <laughs> I found a new team. Just get yeah. Terry Bradshaw jersey. Go to a Pittsburgh Steelers game, and That's you true. will be king of yep. dick sucking. So. Well, and you get uh, one free rape ticket with a Ralph Whisperger jersey <laughs> too. So it's, there you go. You know, it's mine's fine. Gonna be, mine's yeah. going to be interchangeable, <laughs> <laughs> oh, reversible. Just yeah. Velcro on the back. That's it. Oh, I love it. God damn it. Awesome. But anyways, during that particular football game, probably one of the grossest injuries I've ever seen uh, watching live. I can oh, see, dude. Gross. Uh, poor poor gross. Nick Chubb. I gross. feel so terrible for yeah, that guy. Yeah, dude. I love that guy, too. His I do, don't too. don't do like that. No. <laughs> like your, was, your leg, it does now. Your, ooh, your leg ooh. is not supposed to go the wrong direction. That thing looked like Gumby. Oh, fuck. It's so terrible because, I mean, I was an EMT at one point. That was the one thing I still can't watch is, is limbs, fingers, arms, all of that just going the wrong way where they're not supposed to. That fucks with me. I uh, dropped out of EMT school because they said that... I I would have people that puked on me. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's why I quit. hundred ten percent, dude. Yeah. I can show up at like a car accident scene because I used to be a cop. So like somebody can be cut in half. I'd be like, you get the bottom, I'll get the top. Let's go eat lunch. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. But if you have the fucking flu, I I lose my shit, dude. I'm like, oh oh fuck, I don't want that weird shit on me, like, dude. I can't. And so I quit. I was gonna go to the fire department and I stopped being an EMT. That would be, because, yeah. yeah, you want to know yeah. why? Because they get called faster for medical calls than. Fuck. than Fucking EMT. That, like, dude. why couldn't you just go fight fires? Like, I, know, I don't like, want to. I don't want to help people. That's I just what wanted I to like spray water on. That's things. what I was that going was to school for. Yeah. I was going to school for a fire, fire, uh, fire one, fire two, yeah. all that shit. But they make you take EMT. Mm. That's one of the requirements, and the main reason why is because as a firefighter, you have to don your gear and get on your whatever vehicle that you're getting into, yeah. and get called for medical calls. And somehow, some way, we would still beat the fucking paramedics there every fucking time. <laughs> That's beside the point. Anyways, sad day. but uh, but yeah, it was absolutely terrible, and that's um, I'm glad I didn't get to see that that injury when he. It was sucks. Gonna, it was rough. It was very rough. So good luck to all of you people on uh, fantasy football that have Nick Chubb. Yikes! Get I think he line. tore every MCL, ACL, yeah, CSL. As, I have no idea what all the of, L's are, but all of them are all fucking gone. done. As of the time we're recording, they have not disclosed what tendons were torn but i'm all guessing of them. all of them <laughs> every <laughs> single one yeah, of them poor yeah. and one of them was guy. like stretched double size oh, yeah it was so weird. bad feels so terrible for him he's gonna be a really good kicker now <laughs> <laughs> the sad he's gonna heels, wind up he just fucking he, just, he starts two yards from the ball takes one step and just fucking boots at 80 oh, yards jesus <laughs> Uh, the saddest thing is too is and I, I, it could be a career ender. So I, I my I I mean you know I hope that doesn't happen. So but you think Aaron Rodgers' to. injury is a career ender? He's old, uh, completely snapped in he, half he, Achilles. He like that really is not. Really wanted to play for the Jets and tell everybody to fuck off. His interview on Pat McAfee the other day was absolutely hilarious because people were telling him that the reason why that injury. Oh, happened dude, to when him. he told Keith Olbermann to go get another <laughs> booster, that shit was hilarious, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, boy. That's good <laughs> shit. Oh, man, that was some funny stuff. But anyways, uh, that is the current events that we have for this week. We are not ESPN. We are a comedy show. Uh, so that's when we get to move on to the fun stuff, and that's why we're here. So hope you guys had fun with that. Now let's move on to overrated or underrated. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of fan suggestions, but the first one is not from a fan. Okay. It is. Overrated or underrated? Where, Where did this? Why, why did you just fucking say the <laughs> same? <laughs> Sorry. Overrated or underrated? Mm -hmm. Catholic church tickle parties. I don't know. I grew up in Catholic school and I never had one of these. These are fun. So I don't know what that is. They're sleepovers. You go to the church and like it's a game that you play. You what? play the game? Yeah. You I never think heard? you might be the only one playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> Were you the only one there? Uh, no, no. Okay, I have no. news for you. I'm absolutely not playing this no, game. No, but he can't tell who the other people were. He's been sworn <laughs> to secrecy. 
They brought them out one at a time. They have an NDA. Oh, you sign NDA. this. <laughs> sign this, kid. I don't know. I, I just... It's uh, a big check. Jesus is watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is so overrated. Don't ever do this. This is terrible. Uh, but no. I can't really judge because I've never... That is. Yeah, what is yeah. that? I even? mean, just imagine going to a Catholic church on like a retreat, staying the night with all your friends who are also in Bible school. In a church? In a church. And, mm, and, you know, and then Father is chasing you around trying to tickle you. I don't think you understand how Catholic. I think <laughs> yeah, I don't think you understand how everybody this works. just they feels have to have guilty communion and goes first. to church once a once a week right. and then that's it. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that's, Get drunk on the weekends. After. Exactly. That's what I makes think sense. you're thinking of the Mormonites. Speaking oh. of which, uh, I have a drinking event coming up at Blessed Sacrament yeah. Church. It's, like, it's Oktoberfest. They Very bring good. in huge beer trucks and everything. It's mm-hmm. kind of fun. Oh, I'll shit. do the fun run thing, and then that's a good excuse to get shit faced. Damn, dude, that. That's another thing that's been on my for you page is is right now it's like uh, the kicking off of Oktoberfest over in Germany. Oh, dude, those God broads are getting it. the fucking girls out. Holy Whoa. shit, dude! I, I need to go before yeah. I die, but I'm bringing you oh, with I know. me because you've I, let's been. Go. Let's go. Let's oh, go. It's it's it, so Jesus. badass. Anyways, so uh, so basically, we don't know if it's overrated or underrated, but it sounds it sounds terrible. Uh, next one. This is uh, this is. <laughs> I feel like it has to be a real thing. <laughs> You gotta imagine that it is. All right. Okay. okay. I'm shocked it didn't come from a fan. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> well, wait till you get to the rest of them. They're pretty good too. Uh, next one. Uh, this is uh, from a fan. This is from Facebook. Chase Golden wants to know: overrated or underrated VIP rooms at the strip club? I say overrated because now you're just paying more to get your herpes. <laughs> yeah, it, it depends does. on which strip club. If we're talking about Jezebel, or no, what's the, uh, oh, Pleasures in yeah, South Pleas- Wichita, Kansas. That is dude. actually a slang term here called P-Town. Okay, if yeah. you're talking about that place, I would assume it is quite overrated <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Uh, just because the chick comes in and you're like oh god i got my 30 dollars back or whatever it is um but, let's, how about but if the you're VIP? in vegas yeah, maybe vegas. i don't know that might be good but then again i don't think they're banging you yeah so. i haven't went to a bunch of strip clubs i know shocky <laughs> but i have been to s- several here and uh when, it's something about when the girl walks up to you and goes oh would you like to tip me yeah, Fuck I know, no, bitch. Yeah, if I exactly. wanted to tip you, yeah. I'd have been yeah. up there on the stage yeah. watching your fucking. I, mean, I have a wife at home. I can get money dance. away for yeah. free. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My yeah. wife's on Amazon exactly. right now, yeah. spending all our money. You get to I know, It's. I mean, this sounds like a party that that JP would go to. A bunch of dudes <laughs> sitting around getting boners together. <laughs> yeah, which which you know, I can appreciate. Watching but somebody but dance. So I don't. It's it's very strange. It's like Duck Duck Goose. Only they're sitting on each other's lap, basically. I guess, but then you can't touch them. Like it's weird. I don't know. Oh, it's very strange. It is very strange, but I mean, when you get that age, uh, what if you get a smelly one? Oh no, I've I've gotten Dude. way worse. It's oh, like, I've you've been dancing all night too. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think I've told this story before, but I went I went to a strip club once because I was basically dragged there. I did not want to go, um, but uh, they put me on perv row because everybody that I was with was on perv row. They made him. Oh no, no, it. it gets way worse. They were putting dollar bills in front of me. They were just throwing them in front of me. Nice. And they knew because the dancer that came out that was stripping was probably maybe 50 years old. Oh. Oh, and it was uh, gravity did works on her tits. It was amazingly you know, gross. They just, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> they, <laughs> maybe that's all she knows how maybe to she do, you know? Throw them over her shoulder. Yeah. You know? That would have like been more entertaining. Been, I'm not trying to get yeah. turned on at this point. Just show me what you could do with your yeah. your long boots. Did she dance to my Do Your Ears Hang Low? <laughs> <laughs> was, that her, was that her song? <laughs> Fucking should have been. <laughs> that would have been hot. Uh, but no, uh, VIP <clears throat> VIP rooms at strip clubs are overrated. It's it's nothing. You're just it just come here, spend more money. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I so, agree anyways, uh, next one is also from a fan. This is from uh, Instagram. Uh, Zach Valencia. He wants to know overrated or underrated parking lot sex. I don't know. It's happened a few times. Are we know? talking outside the car or inside? Ask the car? Uh, what's his name? I think Fucking. inside. Huh? 
one of the Stevens was it Brandon? Yeah, ask <laughs> yeah, Brandon. I mean, in L.A., everybody's having parking lot yeah, sex because that's where their house you can't, is. Right? I was going to say you can't <laughs> afford yeah. to go to you can't afford it's, to go uh, to a house. Yeah, I mean, they have a nice tent, you know, yeah. in the Home <laughs> Depot parking lot. Uh-huh. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I banked my wife in a Whole Foods parking lot. I feel like that was I feel like that was pretty gluten free, well, you know. Good. So it's uh, yeah, it was more expensive. <laughs> I don't know. And then. I don't know. It just depends, I guess. I think if you're in a car, you know, or a van, if you've been forced into the van, it's not so fun. But if you haven't, then maybe it's great, you know? I don't know. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking old foods. What? what I, it, made, just, it was just a, you what, know. What uh, made you all of a sudden go? Well, go we were in the seafood food. section, and I got turned on. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I don't know, man. It just, it was, uh, you know, we were drunk. <laughs> we were drunk. Yeah, just, we thought we bad. made it home. Yeah, it was a pulled over situation. Like, when, when we just pulled doubt, in and, you know. Just went in doubt. Just say you were drunk and everything. So it's, exactly. just a, it's just a party. Exactly. Oh, That's, God. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, if you've ever tried to have sex in your car, you, you got to be kind of flexible, and I'm not That's that way. That's why I'm an SUV. So. Oh, yeah. oh always, yeah! Always have an SUV or a truck. I've got a it. huge truck, and there I you st- go. I still don't like it. I would much rather be at home in bed because I'm regular. So oh, I'm, your way, you regular. Yeah, Jesus, that's it sounds like you nicely. take Metamucil yeah. during yeah. sex. Yeah. Right, <laughs> I'm the, regular. Uh, and if I'm gonna shit something, it's not gonna be my truck. <laughs> no, that, and I've been haunted ever since I was like in high school. I was getting, I was getting a blowjob behind a building, and some lady came out and caught us. And so, ever since, Whoa. just not the same. So yeah, did wanna, she join in or did yeah, she no, stop? Say what no, what she, happened? She banged on the window, and I'm like, oh fuck. Huh. Oh, oh wow! Oh, yeah, what a was, bitch! What yeah. a bitch! I'm just like, trying. Yeah, she she trying just watched. If she would have fucking stood there and yeah. flicked her bean, she'd have been <laughs> a lot more fun. Right. Exactly. Come on, I'm happier than you. Uh, so JP, overrated, underrated? Oh yeah, overrated. Okay, good for you. Yeah. All right, uh, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated? The Roman Empire. Mm. That's <sighs> fucking way underrated, dog. It's, I agree. It's because, so underrated. Yeah, I agree because brother fucked brother and fucking oh, they just they were some far. fucking raunchy motherfuckers. Is Bathsheba part of the uh, Roman <laughs> yeah, Empire? Yeah, so, yeah, I think, yeah, that guy was a fucking yeah. dick. Yeah. God damn. Hey, I'm gonna send your husband to the front lines in hopes of him dying so I can. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, Julius Caesar. Yeah, you, you that had. Guy, you he had makes the a good gl- salad. Yeah, he, <laughs> he makes yeah, a good salad. Does. Yeah, he does. That's pretty good. I have uh, I have Costco Julius Caesar salad in the my, gladiators? In my fucking refrigerator right now. The gladiators, man. That's oh, like- dude, American gladiators is <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Okay, that actually makes it kind of cool because it yeah. came from there. Yeah, I'm going to go underrated. Uh, this is way underrated yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, ev- right. Everybody that's asking your husband these questions, yes, it's fucking underrated, you stupid bitch. I like it. All right, and last but certainly not least. I love this one. <laughs> overrated or underrated? Being frozen in carbonite with a raging erection. 100% underrated. Because <laughs> right now... Dude, my dick doesn't get used half as much as it would. If I just had that thing sticking out, she's walking by the refrigerator, and she's like, I'm going to get some orange juice and fucking just sit on this for a few minutes. I think that is fucking super underrated. Like, I wish I knew somebody with some carbonite. I have to go overrated because there's not enough carbonite. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's rare. Carbonite's they not just They keep getting it halfway down my dick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I like it. It's That's just good. really hard, and then the end is just really floppy. It's, it's not, it's like not it. cool. Like it. It's like one of those things that you blow up parties. <laughs> oh, it's like an anteater. Yeah. 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 Hard uh, part. I'd say this is kind of overrated because I think it would just get caught on shit and it accidentally break it off. Oh, you're walking around? I mean, maybe. I mean, no, no, you're not. I just pictured not. Han Solo right. like yeah, yeah, this no, no, you're, on the yeah. front of my refrigerator yeah, with his dick hanging out. Exactly. Like, I'm not leaving my wife at home. I, I, you know what I, I mean? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, you are <laughs> like the... Re- I think that thing's getting used. No, you're the refrigerator door, but what's going to happen is that, you know, you're carbonite at this point, so you're She's going to have somebody over, and somebody's not going to know that, hey, you've got a raging erection. Walk yeah. by it, get caught on something, and tear the tip that of your makes dick it off. even better. Oh, no, no. It's carbonite, dude. <laughs> Nothing's yeah, tearing the tip of anything no. off with carbonite. Okay. You fine. are going to rip that bitch's clothes okay. for sure. She's going to remember your dick forever. <laughs> 
I like it. I think it's super underrated. Okay. This is great. This is great. Okay. I'm going to still say overrated. Fuck uh, Walt Disney being frozen in <laughs> fucking frozen peas or whatever it is. This would be way better. <laughs> okay. I don't know how uh, they'd make your dick. I think yeah, carbonite would like be way a better. stick in it or something yeah. if you're dead. Stick. That is overrated or underrated. Uh, again, uh, we're going to keep on moving more on. Like a branch. To some more of your I suggestions. I wonder if they could use like a plaster of Paris type. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. That'd be fucking it's awesome. Bad. That is the most underrated thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Uh, anyways, now we can move on to a segment. Steve, you've never been a part of this segment. This no. is JP's actually, it's his favorite yeah, segment. Yeah, man, it's a good nice. one. This is called That's Where I Draw the Line. Uh, these are certain situations to where you've got to pick where you draw the line. It's a simple, and uh, if you can't figure it out. I don't have a lot of lines. <laughs> tack hammer time. Yeah, that's tack why I like this segment, because yeah. it's really easy to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, a lot of these are from you, the listeners. So let's see how you did. The first one, however, is not. Is not. not. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Because I got to fill the spots uh. in. Uh, anyways, uh, the first one is, how much porn do you have to watch for it to be, or for you to be a porn addict? I don't, I think that's a stupid question because I don't think I'm a porn addict. But, but, but I mean, I got to fucking get off somehow, and <laughs> none of you guys are willing to help, so. This is true. Well, Derek's not here, but here's the deal. I uh, <laughs> This one hits a little close to home. Okay. I'll be honest. <laughs> Recently. <laughs> over the past few days, I was reading a story in the news. On the way here. <laughs> yeah. I was reading a story in the news a couple days ago on, like, Facebook News or whatever, and it was about some chick that's like, a, I don't know, she's a senator or some shit. And they Bobart? found out, I don't know, no, 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 not her. She would probably be fun to fuck, too. Yeah. <laughs> She's just dumb. But yeah. her and the, who's the dumb, who's the other dumb bitch? The, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi. No, 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 no oh, uh, AOC, AOC. Yeah, she. I, I think she'd kind of be a dead fish. But seems like we've <laughs> no, got a lot uh, of dumb the Marjorie bitches. Taylor Green. Oh, Marjorie she's Taylor dumb Green. enough yeah, to be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'll suck it after it's in my ass. Yeah, that's fine. So, <laughs> yeah. but no, I was, I was literally, wa I was watching, I was looking at this story the other day, and it said that this senator lady, I don't know who she is, but she had sex with her husband on a website called Chatterbait. Oh, nice. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? And so I looked it up, and oh, yeah. ever since then, I've been like, I'll just go back and look at it <laughs> for a second, just real quick. And then, dude, you see some wild fuck, and it's free. It's just free. There's just people fucking blah, 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 blowing each other and all kinds of shit on there, just normal people. But there is one little aspect to it where there's chicks on there and they look so fucking annoyed with their fucking phone in their hand like oh you didn't token me or whatever yeah, I'm like yeah. i want to fucking yeah you need to be deleted <laughs> and there's no like facebook standards to report them to but <laughs> it's uh it, it's become a bit of an addiction i think i would say it's unhealthy at this point yeah so sure. where yeah. so where's to how it's, much is too much Oh, 13 hours a day. Just, you know, but I just keep looking for somebody I know so I can take he screenshots. To, I'm yeah. like, and then I kind of halfway want to just get on there uh, by myself. I don't know. Oh, man. I actually have a legitimate answer to this, and that is if you have sign-in information for any particular free porn website. No, there's no sign-in. You just go right to the website. I don't care. Porn I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Pornhub, if you have to sign, if you sign in. If you're paying for the premium. If you, then that's, yeah, that's where that's, I draw the line. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay, all right. Jesus Christ. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. my God, like, Jonathan Dick. Uh, what? Oh, no, that's not him. No, uh, he's the one that sent know, the next I question. Uh, but next one, uh, this is from Facebook. This is Jonathan Richard. Uh, Whatever. He wants to know, what is the lowest temperature it should be socially acceptable to wear shorts? I'm a bigger guy, so you I'd are. say 32 degrees. <laughs> Freezing? Yeah, because I work outside anyway. I build decks now. <laughs> Only yeah, fans didn't work. Now. Remember, we covered this earlier. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I don't know. Like I feel like I get like kind of, oh, I've been trying to do cold plunges lately, I, too. I have, too. Uh, I bought one, and I set it up, and I've never gotten in it for three months because <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's going to be too cold. So I tried, freezing, man. I tried uh, taking cold showers because they cut my gas off because we didn't pay. Uh, and so I was like, all right, so for one 
one whole week, I had no choice but to take cold showers. And I was like, okay, I'm on the fucking road. Like, this is going to happen. Oh, and then I still just chicken the fuck <laughs> out. But we have gas now. So That's they good. Didn't really Congratulations. Cut it. They didn't cut it off because I, I didn't pay the bill. We had a gas leak. And then we live in a house that was built in 1923. So that one gas leak led to another. We had a total of seven gas leaks. They came out for, uh, for nine days straight searching new gas leaks every time we would get one of them fixed. Because you can't do them all at once right. because it, like, right. it's yeah. everywhere. So they found shitloads of them. And, uh, and yeah, during that time, I did take cold showers. <laughs> and I will say... Dude, it felt so fucking good. It does. It like, you don't want to do it. Yeah, but, you and don't. Especially when you don't have a choice. It's like, dude, yes. I am not taking my fucking nasty balls to bed. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 100%. And so you would, dude, I, it fucking felt so good. If and you, now I'll probably never do it again. If you, take, <laughs> if you take showers in the morning because it wakes you up, take a cold one. It's fucking crazy. Um, how about you, JP? What, what's the You coldest? know what feels really good? Fucking hot shower. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty I good. Mean, I took me right one of those. The fuck is wrong with you? Puts me yeah. right back to sleep. No, where's your cutoff? What, when's the, sh when's the, as cold as it can get for I'm you to wear leg, shorts? I'm a leg guy, so I think they should always wear shorts. Always I agree with wear that. shorts. Yeah, 100%. God, damn. If you Dude, have a, pants I are mean, just fucking leg prisons. Yeah, leg prisons. Leg they really prisons. are. I agree. I agree. I'm I'm a bitch. I I you are a bitch. I mean, you got that right. See, you are a bitch. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say forty. Forty degrees. It, okay. It, it, forty degrees or lower. That's that. Like put. We make fun of people like that. We make fun of people because oh, the they, guy in the snow with his flip flops and shorts on yes, and then like a parka. Those yeah, that stupid guy's a motherfuckers. Uh, that's where that's what that's where I draw the line. Forty degrees. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. This is also from Facebook. This is from Bradley. Uh, I'm sorry, Bradley. Is it either Hoveland or Hoveland? Uh, he wants to know could how. Could be Hoveland. It could be Hoveland. Uh, he wants Hovey to land. Maybe. Okay. He wants to know how much plastic surgery is too much plastic surgery. All of it. All of it? All of it. Oh, no. Not all of it. Yeah. I like natural saggy titties. <laughs> and right I just now. don't want your fucking chest rocks after you get the new ones. <laughs> all right? Because they're hard. Always they're fucking hard. They don't feel real. They don't look real. They look fucking weird. When you first get them, they don't feel real. But after a while, I they feel I just feel, feel like people look so fucking strange when they get plastic surgery. Like those chicks that get like everything done in their yeah. cuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, dude, they always look so, surprised. It's so terrifying. I, I, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I will say this: there are some there are some people. When if you got breast implants or something like that or you, you, whatever, yeah, that's cool. That's totally fair and or fine. Or like a lift, I guess, would be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my wife has a giant fucking nose. She wants to get that thing <laughs> taken off or whatever, and then make, I don't when, know what. But. When when they start all looking alike to where they look like yeah. lizard people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's when it. Yeah, 100%. When, you're, when your Botox and your face yeah. is stretched out yeah. like you're just being pulled like the fucking stretch armstrong yeah, yeah that's too much yeah so that's that's where i'm at i guess i feel like a dick now because if you like little kids that had like cleft palate and stuff well, like, i don't think course, that's yeah, where that's... we were going <laughs> well, with it, no, no, yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. that's plastic surgery no so you need yeah. to live the rest of your life with that fucking yeah, cleft that's lip. true all right some of it's acceptable yeah okay how about you jp i think when you can't stand next to a campfire without melting yourself <laughs> i think that uh, i think that's that's, that's where my you, line that's yeah. your line okay I love it. all right uh, next one. Uh, this is from uh, Twitter. Uh, this is at Zephyr Hills. Nice. Yeah. He wants to I know. I think I get their uh, supplements. Oh, good. Uh, he or she wants to know. Uh, how you should stop <laughs> taking those. I heard they were recalled. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my plastic surgery. There you go. Uh, anyways. For my nuts. He wants to know. How long do you have to live in a state before you can say you are from there? You got to be goddamn born there, son. Ooh, yeah, wow. I, don't, I don't know about that one because I lived in That's, Dallas for yeah. like five years. I still don't consider myself Claim from it, there. Right. Yeah. I think you got to like the Been place you live in. I think it's got to be like a 20 years thing. Mm -hmm. I would see this is this is something kind of weird. Uh, I saw a video that changed my my perceptive my perception on this. And that is um, there's a there's a British guy who went to like all of his years all the way from uh, primary elementary school all the way through college in japan mm -hmm. okay and he's british yeah he so he right sticks in. out like a fucking sore thumb when he's in japan he was eating wagyu and, and drinking so sake. they he was interviewed fine. him and they asked him it's like okay well, you lived your entire life practically here you were you were born in another country but you've lived here basically forever 
do you consider yourself from Japan? And he says, I'm not from here, but this is my home. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So that puts a different a different perspective. I am not technically from Do you ever Wichita. wish that Scotty would just stop talking? No. Or just like spontaneously explode? Yeah. Here's the deal. <laughs> Either way. We Either all way. learned. It, this is an easy fucking answer. We all learned this uh, in Joe Dirt. Man, home is where you home make it. Home, home is where you make, you make it. it. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, yeah, too. Yeah, that's it. You. That's just yeah. where it is. That's know. what I was going with. But yeah. I don't know. To be able to be like, I, I'm not going to tell people I'm from L.A. or I'm from Dallas just because I lived there for however long. L.A. Uh, anyway. But I also don't <coughs> tell them I'm from Wichita, Kansas, either. That's just too embarrassing. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm yeah. so proud of living, living I tell them here. I'm from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Japan, governor. <laughs> Oh, shit. Anyways, uh, last one. This is from Instagram. Uh, Nate Mancusi, I believe is how you pronounce it. Nice. Sounds Italian. My wife's after him. I love love a good Mancusi. This guy is making some spaghetti and meatballs. That's weird. Yeah, Mancusi. That used to be my nickname in high school. That is now your nickname. He has a a tattooed as a tramp stamp. Yeah. (laughs) With an arrow pointing down. Oh, God. All right, Mancusi. What did you want? Uh, He wants to know... What is the appropriate age you should start talking to your kid about the birds and the bees? Dad? I mean, I guess if they're allergic to bees, you have to talk to them about <laughs> right it pretty away. fucking early <laughs> and how to work their fucking EpiPens. Yeah, that's And then true. birds aren't real, so I have no idea. Uh, how about penises and vaginas? Uh, I'll tell you what happened when I was 13 years old. My, oh, yeah? My father gave me a uh, talk. Okay, what? Okay. He said, son, you have a loaded gun. Keep it in the <laughs> fucking holster. In the holster. He literally, that's literally it. That was all he said. And I was like, oh, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> and I was in Catholic school, so I really didn't know what any of that meant. But I didn't lose my virginity until I was 18, so I guess it worked. Yeah, see, you same know? here. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 18. Yeah. And you want to know when my Dude, parents... I was scared of the pussy. And I swear to you, teenage girls are the most fucking violent horny little sons of bitches <laughs> on planet earth especially like, if they they're are, catholic. They are they especially are, if they're catholic by dude, the way they are they are not scared no be like you're like i feel when i lost my virginity that it wasn't really my choice see that's <laughs> like, the like, same like, thing like i didn't i didn't i, I would have been okay with you know like like the 40 what is it uh, uh i don't know year old virgin yeah where he's like 41st right day and he's like how about 50 uh, dates how about i would have been fine with that. sure sure and then once it happens, it's like, oh, well, she made it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, so. Same thing. But, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, luckily I have stepkids, so this doesn't really pertain to me. So, so for me, it was whenever my, my dad told me about the birds and the bees, whenever he caught me looking through his porn. Oh, nice. That, Cause then it's like, okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. Surprised high- you didn't turn up. No, <laughs> it wasn't like his magazine. It was his porn. No. It was his, it was his, yeah, dad it was, his mom. Yeah, it was it was no. his dad's porn. No, it his was his mom did not shave been making the it for it, years. Yeah. It was a yep. VHS tape of, of, of them I having sex it was. of women I it was. In, in from the nineteen eighties and so the bushes were. Oh hell very, yeah. You couldn't even see around. any lips. So you oh, didn't yeah. even know what that thing looked you like. You didn't until yeah. the nineties yep, whenever they true. started shaving them. That's true. But yeah, that's that's whenever dad had I need some Arby's all of a sudden. <laughs> I, lo- I love a big bush. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm. I, I'm okay with a bush for uh, sure. No, no. Wax that shit. Brazilian really? Wax that shit. Yes. I'll take a little like landing strip. Uh, I know. That's fine. Nah. Uh, but anyways, no. Same fucking story. Same thing happened. I was 18 years old, and she took my virginity from me. Catholic girl too for you, Steve. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah every sure. fucking yeah. time. How yeah. About JP. I'd like to plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. You, know, you ever uh, had sex with a woman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll oh, see. Yeah. Was that um, the first time you did it? Was with a girl? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, oh okay. you, All right. You're not even really gay. You're just yeah. you're playing. <laughs> you had one yeah. bad experience. Oh, I did. <laughs> we talked about it on the show before, man. <laughs> Smelled my car up to the point. Oh, <laughs> Smelled my car to the point I took it to the car wash and power washed the inside oh, of it. Fuck, it was dude. A bad that's deal. pretty bad when your car is sponsored dude. by Summer's Eve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was not good. I don't think Summer's Eve could have helped this chick. Oh, dude. that's oh, fucking that is, great. Uh, my buddy fingered a chick one time and he kept making me 
trying to smell. Oh, He's like, it smells like Taco no. Bell hot sauce. And I was like, I don't oh, know what Taco Jesus Bell you've Christ. been eating at, sir. But Taco oh, Bell. yeah, it was. Gross. Um, I think you got to start earlier now because of the internet. So you have to. You have yeah, to. Dude. Yeah, um, dude. Otherwise, can you imagine what fucking sexual deviance we would have been with Pornhub? No, no like no, it's, on, it's no. on their fucking dude, phone. Wait till right these, these ten year old kids now when yeah. they're twenty five. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. dude. That's I couldn't out, yeah. even imagine. I thought I thought it was fucked up. Was that what was that Fifty Shades of Grey bullshit? I thought that was a little weird. Yeah, I think these yeah. kids are going to be fucking way oh, past yeah, that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. All yep. right. So anyways, I say the earlier the and better. And you know what? That's where I draw the line. So yeah. uh, that is that week's segment. Now we get to move oh, on. Oh, I didn't know we were drawing lines. Well, that's what we were doing. Yeah. You did it the whole time. Oh, uh, I did. Yeah, I've got, did. Like, got. Oh, I got a bush. Yes, yeah. <laughs> got a bush. Is that what, I was going to ask yeah, if that was that a bush. Was a bush. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now we get to move. Very on. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, this is a questions fun thing. and yep. questions. Questions and questions in Spanish. Uh, first one it's for all of the Spanish listeners, they get one word. <laughs> hey man, we one got thing they can avid, understand. Avid listeners out of Mexico City, thank you very much. Fuck for all yeah, dude! Out there. I do not envy their elevation at all. They no. can't drink shit up there. <laughs> it's like eleven thousand feet. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, anyways, first question this week is: What's a music album that would describe your sex life at one point? Hmm. Back in black. Fuck you! Wow, God damn it! That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Slippery when wet. I did. Mm. Uh, I did the black album. Is what mine was. Uh, I was back in black by ACDC. Um, yeah. I did. I also did. I also did Blink One Eighty Two. Cha- uh, take off your pants and jacket. Oh, I thought maybe you were. Th- I thought maybe it was called All the Small Things. <laughs> that um, one could work too. Yeah. You got one over there, Steve. Uh, man, I don't know. I didn't really think about this. I'll be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Love in an elevator. Yeah, maybe. That's not know. what the name of the album was, though. <laughs> I, oh, an was, album. You said album. Oh, an album. Yeah. Um, you didn't say song. You said album. Which one was that? What was Aerosmith's well, Aerosmith's album was that? It wasn't called Love and an I Elevator. I would go with that. Uh, I would go with that Johnny Cash album with the Hurt Me song on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. This comes in from Michael Bowerman off of Facebook. Hell he, yeah. He wants to know. What's the best way to quit your job? I don't know what the best way is, but I know what the best time is. Well, what's the best time? Lunch. It's always <laughs> lunch. I don't know. I've worked a lot of construction jobs, and everybody always quits at lunch. Yeah? And then you get the drunkest that day. Oh, Like, yeah. it's so great. It's and then you time. have to come back Friday to pick up your check. And then the guy that's running the crew or whatever, he's so used to it. He's yeah. just kind of a dick about it. It's not that big of a deal. But then you, like, buy him a beer, and it's... Uh, I this guy might be talking about normal stuff though. I don't know. <laughs> like, he might be talking about people in an office or something where you have to actually well, give them a letter and you don't just fight the I, superintendent. I don't know. So uh, one of our most avid listeners, she's probably been a listener for longer. I mean, I've seen her comments since we first started doing this goddamn show. Uh, but Taylor Morosky, she uh, she said that she just recently quit, quit her job, and so. This quiet is, quitting is a thing. Uh, quiet quitting is a thing, but um, I did. I, I did she that wants once. to know the answer to go. this question, so I'm going to give her my exact answer. Okay. Mm. My exact answer is: you want to hurt the person you hate the most. Uh, so, so, I don't know, dude. So, you never no. want to burn all the bridges. No, man. you, you no, always no, got to leave that that's open. That's the thing. That's the thing. You got to be very, very particular about who you're pissing off. You, if oh. you don't want to just leave and fuck everybody else over, you just want to fuck that person over. Okay. So, however, you can quit to piss that person off, which is normally your boss. So, if it's your boss, get a group of you to quit all at the same time. So then they have to work oh ten God. times as hard. That is the best way. Just you piss just made a union. That fuck her off. Oh yeah, totally, one hundred percent. Holy I don't care. shit, dude! That's I know, pretty rough. I know what I'm doing, but also the uh, the other advice I give you is don't always think when you put in your two weeks notice that you will get two weeks notice. Have no, that ba- but you, if you don't yeah. get two weeks notice, you automatically get uh, unemployment. Oh, cool! If they don't give you the option or they don't give you the opportunity to stay and work. Oh. You just tell the unemployment office that, and then they automatically give you unemployment. I never had to, that happened to uh, me one time. I never, I never. Yeah, I never, it happened to me one time. I never, I never asked for that. How about you, JP? So the, <laughs> I waited tables for a long time in a lot of different places, and the best way that I ever quit my job was I was off on a Wednesday, and I picked up three of the server shifts. 
for that win. What a dick. And then didn't show up. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Did you quit or get fired? I don't know. I quit. Oh. I just stopped. I, 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 was, I told them, I, would, I told each one of them, oh, I'll work for you. Oh, nice. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I told Brian. He said we're good. Was this at Bennigan's? It's close. <laughs> You're really close. Uh, I yeah. worked at Bennigan's and got fired from yeah. there. That's why. I was so <laughs> I, uh, I told each all the three of them that were working that night yeah. that I would cover their shifts, and then I just didn't fucking show up, and neither did they. Oh, nice. And, uh, this so, other manager had to work. I mean, I guess I never fucking went back. Fuck that guy. That's, awesome. that, yeah. that's perfect. So, I like it. Yeah. My favorite part of Bennigan's was the birthday song. <laughs> yeah, was, of course it was, was it. man. That's yeah. literally it. Mine There's was the Monte Cristo. Isn't it like oh, happy birthday? I mean, like. Happy, oh. happy birthday on this oh, special day. Oh, happy, yeah. happy birthday is what we're here to say. Hey. I think. Fuck. I can't. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I loved it. It uh, was so great, dude. Yeah. I'd be so excited to do that. Next question. If Chewie from Star Wars could actually talk, what would he sound like? I think like uh, what's that? What's that guy uh, in the wheelchair? Okay. Oh, Stephen Hawking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think he would sound he like might. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, he would, he'd I be think all that's digital. what he would. Yeah, I think that's That'd what he would awesome. sound like. I dude. think he would sound like a like a really really proper Englishman. No way. Yeah, yeah I do. That would have probably been. I think he'd just be like, oh pick, yes, yeah. chap. I I do have a Pip, red rocket Pip situation. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that's what he would. Yep. What do you sure. think he would sound like, Scotty? I think we need no good in it. Oh, fucking no, right. no, <laughs> no, no. I've no. met several of those Chewies in yeah, destruction, and that's different. not. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Millennium Falcon, goddammit. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, you, you went from Mexican to, to Indian? I Chewy? think he was already doing Indian, <laughs> but he's just not it's very not good at it. It's not, I no, think it, it was no. Indian the whole time. It's not I, even going to be It's not even going to be India anymore. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Sorry. So like, I get in the fucking Millennium Falcon. That's what he would sound like. That's an aggressive Chewie. That is. God damn it, Han Solo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, India hey. is no longer going to be India. It is now going to be called Bharat. Oh, good. Yeah, good for that. So I put uh, that out there. Spectacular knowledge on the show. Uh, uh -huh. Next question: What is a strange sign to see at a strip club? Extra I parking in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd expect uh, that. Yeah. Uh, I actually <laughs> please don't pet the animals. Do not, do not feed the animals. Do not feed the animals. Yeah. That's great. The crotch goblin. <laughs> Rare Pokemon in the VIP room. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that That's was great. Awesome. It's yeah. a fire. Yeah, one, the, you know. yeah, Charmander in the in the mm -hmm. VIP room. Uh, ten pretty ladies, one ugly one. I think that'd be another another good that'd sign. That'd be good. Yeah. 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 Hot uh, puss ahead. Yeah. yeah. And my last one is... The uh, squad on Tuesdays. Yeah. You know, uh, they, them, Thursdays. That's what it would be. It would be that one. Uh, any more, Steve, you got down there? No, man. I, I didn't even uh, uh, think of one. Yeah, I figured. So... Okay. Sorry. Thank God we have him on the show. Yeah, I know. I really <laughs> You're doing a bang up job I here, Steve. Really <laughs> contributed a lot, obviously. Yeah. So. And uh, last but certainly not least, we're going to give it up to a fan. This is uh, Twitter. All right. Um, and his name is Ben Longard. He wants to know rejected names for little people. Oh, Scotty German. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> but I'm bumped. Sweetards. <laughs> Little meat missiles. <laughs> Little meat missiles. Yeah. I just thought of picking them up and throwing them. <laughs> well, I mean, what the fuck else do you do with them? There's some hot ones, though, dude, with their little tiny hands. Dude, my dick would look like a fucking stop sign in their fucking hands. Dude. My wife has giant hands. My dick looked like a crayon in my yeah. wife's fucking hands. She has the biggest fucking hands of any woman I've ever met. Like, I actually ask her to open jars and shit for me all the time because they're beefy. I just thought, like, you can't call them midgets anymore, and so... No, you can, though. You can? You can. I sat next to Bridget the Midget at the uh, comedy store. Oh. in los angeles and this yeah. has been not too long ago i was there for a friend of mine who's in a wheelchair he's uh, got cerebral palsy he was doing a roast battle um with uh, uh brad williams he's, oh yeah uh, yeah, he's yeah, yeah a yeah. little person and so they set me on the front row and everybody in the front row is a midget and i was just like what except the fuck except you. for me and the dude next to me did they and all eventually just end up on your lap kind of <laughs> yeah fucking <laughs> dude, Bridget, the midget gets fucking oh. wrecked dude yeah, she, she gets does. so fucked up but I was joking with them, obviously, and I was, you know, we were having a good time, and I asked Bridget a couple things. I asked her if her parents knew before they named her. That was, like, the one <laughs> the one thing that I wanted to know, because then you know her dad named her at that point. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, 
<laughs> you know, come on, Bridget the midget. Yeah, but come on. Anyway, Mom would never do that. Uh, and then the dude on the other side of me was a black dude, and he had on a shirt that said twenty five cent rather than fifty cent. <laughs> I was like, all right, man, these guys are cool. And then so I asked the, the her manager was sitting to my right, and he had on a shirt that says, "I've had it up to here with midgets," and there was a line <laughs> right at his belt line, and I was like, all right, so you guys are cool with like the midget and and Bridget the midget got fucking heated on that. She was like, oh. you don't fucking call us little people we are fucking midgets like they're very very proud of that oh so, nice uh and then i kind of like but i still couldn't bring myself <laughs> to call midgets all night. so i don't know man i i don't know i feel like that's that's kind of like your buddy going hey man you can say the n-word just tonight yeah, yeah. i know dude i You're just like, was like no, no, i'm good. not falling I'm into good. this yeah. fucking yeah. trap yeah. Uh, oh, but geez. yeah so jeff ross uh was he was judging that oh, yeah. roast battle and probably the funniest joke of the entire night was when so so uh, Joe's in a wheelchair that I mean he has dude, to like he Joe is really awesome yeah, yeah. dude and that so, dude is brilliant well and he was standing next to fucking Brad Williams and Jeff Ross said you two look like the last two kids left at a Ukrainian orphanage <laughs> 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 and that might have been the funniest shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life dude that's awesome uh, anyway oh, but geez. no so midgets a go dude okay. from from midgets. That is direct from midgets. All right, and so mine, mine was simple. Mine was just nubbins. I, I just Salisbury like, steaks. Nubbins is fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, That's nubbins is fine. It's not, yeah, that see, and then you can you can mm -hmm. can't confuse the n words. What so, is that? What they call the hot little midgets is nuggets. Oh or what no. do they call them? I don't know. I said nubbins. I know, but they got what's oh. what's the term for? I don't know, dude. There's a term for it, and there is some hot like yeah, I know. Natalie's five foot two. Yeah. So she's almost a midget. Isn't it four foot four, ten? Four, eight. Four, 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 eight, eight? four okay. eight or four nine. I can't remember. She just missed it. Yep, just missed it. Uh, but anyways. Her hands like, didn't. <laughs> Holy right. fuck, those things are massive. <laughs> Dude, anyway. She'll grab a pair of she's vice all, grips. She's all hands. <laughs> she grabs a pair of vice grips and it looks like tweezers in her fucking hand. <laughs> God. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is our questions and preguntas uh, for this week. Again, every Monday I will send... Uh, a, uh, I'll make a post on all of our socials on Laughing on the Sidelines where you can make your comments and make your suggestions for every episode. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. I fucking won the game console draft, motherfuckers. Wee! What did you win? Blowjob from JP. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, because I won, I get the championship picks this week. <laughs> I don't know if that's a prize. It's definitely not. It's not as good as you uh, told everybody it was. Yeah. And uh, anyways, uh, I won. Uh, did you come in second or third? You, I'm pretty sure I got third. I'm pretty sure you did, too. It, third is a very nice way of saying last, last place. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, so that means uh, JP is going to get the sandwich picks that he always prefers anyways. Um, because uh, we have a guest, and our guest is Steve Peters. So that means that, Steve, you get the first overall pick for this week's draft. So congratulations. This week's draft is going to be... Your last meal draft. So it is going to be your death row last meal. You can have any meal that you want. Nice. We get to pick five of them. And uh, Steve, you get your first pick. My first pick would be a bowl of pine nuts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> pine nuts, huh? Hey, buddy, I am deathly allergic to pine nuts. If I'm going out, I'm going out on my own fucking terms. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, JP, what do you got, buddy? Fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Okay. My favorite. All right, that's good. I, I like that pick, but not as much as I, I'm, I'm going to be just flat out honest. I'm going to go all of the foods that uh, made me um, like happy when I was a kid. And so the first one is going to be Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Mm -hmm. That's going to be my first one. Uh, I get it. And then I am uh, I am also going to go with – that one's going to probably come back to me. I'm going to go steak and lobster. Oh, there we go. That's steak nice. that's, and that's lobster. Nice yeah, yep, that's good. That's a good one. Classy. Yep, that's Classy. right. 
All right. And now JP. <laughs> Prison lobster has got to be pretty good. No, motherfucker. Be good. They are flying that shit from the coast, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, I shit. want it fresh. They're flying I want that shit from Cheney shit. Lake. <laughs> <laughs> the, I said lobster, not fucking crawdads. Mm. Um, anyways, JP. Same thing. JP. Tomato, potato. <laughs> yeah. JP, your second pick. Mac and cheese. You fucking son of a bitch. It's my favorite, man. Yeah. Love me I, some I, mac and I, cheese. The craft. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. But I, you got to make it right. People don't make it right. See, and that's the thing, and that's going to come in my next pick, so I'm not going to get away. You got you to gotta use two capfuls of milk, not not half a cup like they say. Oh, shit. And then it Whoa. makes it. Yeah, dude, I got a whole system. A whole Whoa. system. Use half the butter and basically half the milk. And really? Yeah, dude, it's so much cheesier oh, and so much better. No, I got to yeah. have like you a like fuck. soupy. No, not the milk, not the no. milk. It's the butter. The butter you got to fucking like oh dude, we're talking butter. The butter's about just so the cheese powder will stick to the fucking pasta. Don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Tastes delicious with like a fucking stick of it. Yeah. Steve, right. you get two picks in a row, dude. All right. Pick number 1, a chicken breast. <laughs> A chicken breast. I am deathly allergic to chicken as <laughs> well. And if I'm going out, I'm going out on my own fucking terms. I like that. Pick number two would be a tuna steak. I am deathly allergic to tuna. And if I'm going out, I'm going out on my own terms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> deal. Fine. JP. This, I'm not even lying. These I, are foods that I'm deathly allergic to. I it will close you. my throat and kill me if I don't have an EpiPen. Uh, JP, your next pick. Um, Monte Cristo. What the fuck oh. is what the fuck is that? It's a basically it's a best club sandwich that's Vinigans. been deep fried, oh, and then Jesus. you dip it in turkey and jelly. and ham and shit. Oh, that's it's so good. Fucking ridiculously good, it's man. Very good. Norton's had a good one for a long time. They just stopped making it too. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, I I know how to make one thing in this world exceptionally well, and I don't make from scratch ingredients or anything like that. But I I can make some killer fucking spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Yeah, spaghetti with the prego meat sauce, garlic, mushrooms, and prego. Italian. I make killer sauce. spaghetti. I fucking make killer <laughs> spaghetti. Have you guys had the Prego? It is uh, the it freshest is sauce I've ever homemade in the microwave. Right now, dude. <laughs> no, but you gotta have you gotta add the other ingredients into it. Oh my god! Yeah, like salt and pepper. Yeah, no. like salt. <laughs> no, pepper, like garlic, fucking. mushrooms, and Italian sausage, and you have to do it a certain way. It's it, it, so you it, make your own sauce, but you use Prego <laughs> as the base. All right, listen here, mac and cheese. I'm doing the exact same thing as you did. Whatever, only I'm dude. just not being as descriptive. Yeah, okay. I love it. All right. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Prego. And shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Uh, I I guess I'm going to have to go with my next pick. I'm going to go with, I don't even know what you call it, like a Thanksgiving ham. Like uh, rum ham. Not rum, rum ham. Oh, dude. Rum ham. Dude, you have to. You don't even know what Always Sunny I, I, in Philadelphia is? No, I know what, I'll, I know what the what show dude, is. He, Fuck, I told, dude. He's like, a fucking idiot. You, did you not know this before you ham. came over here? What the fuck, yeah, man? I like he's ham. an idiot. Well, yeah, you'd gotta, love rum ham. I you gotta, would. I got I to gotta, I gotta love my Thanksgiving ham, so I'm going to go with yeah. that. Fuck Good you deal. guys. Uh, JP, your next pick. Cereal. What kind? Ah, man, it's a tough call. I love it all, Captain. Um, blueberry muffin tops. Blueberry. You can only get them at <laughs> that Walmart. That was my nickname in high school. Yeah, well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally, he's also yeah, allergic to it. I <laughs> shopped in the Husky section at Dillard's, yeah, and my okay. nickname was Blueberry Muffin Tops. It's the Malto <laughs> meal in the bags. It's called Blueberry Muffin Tops. Oh, it's like cinnamon toast crunch, but blueberry. Oh, it's fucking good. See, man. You, you had me at cinnamon oh, toast crunch, and good. then you lost me at blueberry. All right. All right, Steve. These are your last two picks. What other picks will you pick to kill you? A fillet of salmon, <laughs> because <laughs> because I am allergic to Jesus salmon, Christ. and I will die on my own terms. <laughs> yes. And your last pick, hmm. biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Pheasant. <laughs> pheasant. Pheasant because I think it'll take those fuckers a long time to find yeah. a pheasant. 
<laughs> and that would delay my death at least a couple of hours with orange sauce. <laughs> and my mom used to get me a pheasant every Thanksgiving <laughs> because I couldn't eat anything else. So it would remind me of her right, right before I went and saw her. That was good shit. After the electricity courses through my vein. Do we have electric chairs anymore? No. Oh, not, fucking not, pussies. We, I don't even know if we actually have. This like, country uh, is just going, going to this shit. Now. Lethal injection only in a few states. I think there's a firing squad still somewhere. in Utah. Yeah, that's U- all awesome. Utah. Yeah, you can have like 13 wives and get killed in front of a firing squad. <laughs> that place is fucking lit. <laughs> they don't even need booze. How do you have 13 wives and you can't fucking drink? I know. Are you I, out of your fucking mind? I know. It's fucking crazy. It's insane. Uh, JP, your last pick. I'm going to say popcorn kernels. Okay. All right. Nice. That way when they electrocute me, I just fucking fill up with pop. Yeah. Like, it's like <laughs> it's Jiffy like Pop. birds at a wedding when they throw <laughs> yeah, bird yeah. seed. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. I love it. <sighs> All right. Mm-hmm. Ready for this? I'm ready, man. I can't wait. All right. I'm going to have... I, I'm actually going to I'm hanging this on up. your every word. I'm going to go. I'm going to go sushi. Ugh. No, five star sushi is the coolest thing. Ah, sushi would kill me too. It's gonna be, it's gonna be su- salmon and tuna and all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah, I could I'm, share that. I'm sushi so excited. With you. We are officially going to Florida for my brother's uh, bachelor slash wedding party. Oh, dude, that's fucking Florida's known for their sushi and Pearl Harbor and everything. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, love yeah, that place. Love it's it. awesome. That's Hawaii. Yeah, it's the same thing. I know. It's fine. <laughs> but, it's the exact same but, thing. But we are going. Half of it's burning. We're going to like a Michelin star sushi place. I'm fucking pumped. Yeah. You get some fucking tires. You'll eat some good sushi. It'll be amazing. Yeah, it'll be great. That's awesome. (laughs) Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines or go to Twitter, which is at L-O-T Sidelines, and vote for your favorite list of our last meals. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> shitty situation of the week. Brought to you by Steve Peters, everybody. That's it. It's my Peter. It Steve's Peters. Yep. Brought to you by Steve's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of carbonite. <laughs> well, <I've laughs> it's getting spent more action. A lot of money to, it's to getting more action host this show. than when it was real. Carbonite mm. dick Steve Peters is getting so much more puss. Yes. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines uh, shitty situation is, would you rather uh, be broadcasted on Chatterbait at a Catholic school tickle party or... As the VIP. As the VIP, sorry. You were the VIP... (laughs) At a Catholic school tickle party. Podcast prodigy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Scotty German. Broadcast prodigy. On Chatterbait. Or you can now only have sex in a Whole Foods parking lot. Well, I'll kick this That's off. And it. I'm not thinking, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised. I'm going with the tickle party. Here's the problem with the Whole Foods thing and only having sex there. They have uh, organic soap that doesn't have <laughs> chemicals in it. It gets a little fucking ripe after a while, bud. I don't know. I need aluminum, aluminum, or however you say that in my soap. Aluminium. 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 Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the pacha soap that they have, it oh, fades Jesus. away in about 13 seconds. Yeah. So. Uh, but that's just where you have to have sex. Where and you- they have sheepskin condoms. So <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, well, I would assume so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're probably on the buffet. <laughs> Next you got to go. Pizza. You got to get them the in the deli. The worst pizza in the yeah. fucking planet, by the way. <laughs> she me Christmas. It's not she- even fucking pizza. It's made on a cardboard box. That's the actual crust. Yeah, that's the crust. It's it's one of those keto pizzas. Oh, they do have good cheddar broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am going with only having sex in a Whole Foods parking lot. Fuck yeah, you are. It's going to be with me. (laughs) Congratulations. I I don't care. I don't have to have sex ever again. I can just tell you I am not going to participate in a Catholic school tickle party. Well, that's your your loss, bro. I was going to say, I've never even heard of this. Maybe maybe I'll go to heaven, I guess. Isn't Isn't that the idea? Well, that's what they say. Okay, well... 
I don't think God would be very happy with that. He's the one that set this whole thing up? Oh, I don't think so. Well, think what you want. Pretty sure he didn't. I know my Lord. Oh, it's good. And That's I know crazy. what he wants me to do. <laughs> Okay. He's talking about the guy at the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me call him my lord. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Steve? What are you doing, bud? Oh, Whole Foods all day, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and they have these olives that you can get in there, too. It's in, like, feta cheese and olive oil. It's so good. And then you get John's pita bread. It's a homemade pita bread thing. And then, uh, yeah, it's very you good. And then anybody so, or dude, just the food? Oh, yeah, that, too. But they have uh, th their biscuits and gravy are fucking horrible. And I get them every single time on the little breakfast buffet and don't ever get them. But the chicolatas or whatever they call them, very good. In California, I don't know how they are here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm banging chicks in the Whole Foods parking lot all day every day. <laughs> He's paying them rent. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. And most of them don't shave their armpits. <laughs> oh, I'm not shocked. Yeah. 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 Or oh, their legs. My God. If you think a cooter stinks and getting in JP's car, you should go to Whole Foods parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode. Steve Peters, everybody. Yay! Steve, Thank you guys for having me once a year. Steve, where can our listeners and watchers go and follow you? Uh, on Facebook, at I'm Steve Peters. And then... Uh, <laughs> I am Steve then, Peters? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Just type it in. And then... Uh, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Well, I have Steve Peters comedian, I guess, on Facebook, but there I don't even. I don't think I've ever logged on. <laughs> I don't. Just be my friend, man. We're gonna fucking talk. If you're gonna be my friend, don't be a bitch. We're gonna fucking talk about things. Steve, I'm and a, then, I, when I first met you, you had this like page on Facebook. Oh, Esteban. I did have a different name for a while. I did, but there was some tax issues. Anyway, so <laughs> there's so there's that, and then I'm Steve Peters comedian, I believe Steve underscore Peters underscore comedian on Instagram, and then the real Steve or no real Steve Peters comedian on uh, X. Oh, on, on, on Twitter. I'm not going to use its dead name. <laughs> <laughs> for the best, yeah. And then there's usually stevepeterscomedy.net and stevepeterscomedy.com, but um, that's on Wix, and I didn't pay the, the, yeah, the monthly payment it, damn on it. both of those. So I didn't uh, – so that probably – you'll go to, like, Big Daddy or whatever. What, what is it? GoDaddy <laughs> go whatever. Yeah. They'll probably be like, this fucking website name is available, and if you fucking cocksuckers take my name, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Uh, so that one, I don't know. It depends on how much money I have, uh, in the next few months and that website will probably come back up, but you can find me on, uh, uh, YouTube as well. I have, I they have one video. On there, so I, don't know, it's bad. I talk about working with BTK. Uh, and I did, I worked with BTK, the serial killer. We it's we, a true story. We posted so. that actually on our TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. You. Yeah. yeah, we yeah did. There we go. So oh, I have TikTok, and I, uh, I got, I keep getting booted off of it because I threw flashbangs <laughs> at my kids. <laughs> Uh, that is a true story. I did order flashbangs from Russia, and this this is before the war, okay? This is when they were still just Russian vodka people, and I fucking threw the flashbangs at my kids, and uh, I tried to put it on TikTok, and it got a bunch of views, and then they said, uh, you can't be here anymore, so now I'm just an observer. So that's uh oh, yep. shit. So or you can call me. Whatever. <laughs> call me. 316. Yep. No, 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 no. It's 310. I have an LA number, number, buddy. I have an LA number. Yeah. Watch so, out. So yeah. Anyways, Steve Peters, thank you so much. It's always I a pleasure when you come for bat mitzvahs. <laughs> so that's uh we'll do it. I uh, hope to have you on uh, much more frequently, if mm -hmm. at all possible, if you're in town. I love it. JP. I love it. Let's do it. JP, you're still my favorite. I know. I don't blame you. I he's know. He's pretty he's, fucking he, dope. He, fucking he's, sweet kid. Not only that, he's so dependable, unlike the other guy that's not here today. But thank well, you. Well, he has. He's sick. <laughs> he's sick. He has maybe COVID. Oh, Jesus. Right? Yeah, maybe. That's, uh, I'm glad yeah. he doesn't have COVID. He has vagicitis. I was with him yeah. all night last night. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. I'm glad oh. he doesn't have COVID. Yeah, convinced yeah. the NFL is rigged, but Jesus Christ, vaccinations and masks actually work. You know, that's what that guy thinks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for listening to this show and sharing it with your friends. That helps us grow this podcast. Follow us on our socials, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, pretty much anywhere, or on Twitter slash X, uh, which is at LOT Sidelines. Thank you very much, guys. And as we always like to say, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you have to eat Prego spaghetti for every <laughs> meal for the rest of your life. Oh, I'd like to plug one more thing. Yeah. If you guys ever need a deck built, 
please call me. <laughs> I will build your deck. It's I'm yeah. very inexpensive. Uh, if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, JP. Remember, Prego. <laughs> it's in there. It is. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, laughing assholes. assholes. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>